Sponsored by the Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of a Bobby Bone Show. We are on location at Dreamliner Luxury Coaches, and I've got Rich Thompson, one of the CEOs. Rich, thanks for having us out here, and uh, we are standing in front of Doja Cats and Scissors, you know, coach that they got from you guys? Yes, we are. Thanks for having me. This is incredible. So, I mean, you know, I know you guys are one of the biggest uh, companies in the USA right now, handling 50% of, you know, the travel for music artists, because you've expanded, obviously, and, and you've been here for years. But now it's like, you know, you're going to take us through not only this one, you know, showing us the inside of the touring motor coach, but also we're going to look at Little Big Towns and also Chris Stapleton's. But you guys have also handled Beyonce, Drake. I mean, who are some of the other ones, Rich? I mean, there's most most of the big names we, we've dealt with. Um, our CEO, Jeremy, has um, kind of been in the business for 10 years and dealt with most of the big biggest acts and names out there. And, and the tough thing is that you have to actually go out on location sometimes with these artists and, and hang out at the venues, right? <laughs> we do. We try to go out to each tour and um, we meet with the drivers, we meet with the tour managers, sometimes business managers, but really just to kind of make sure that, you know, the, the coaches and the services we provide are there and that our drivers know that we're there to support them if, if they need anything or, you know, things happen on the road. Well, you know, and what I learned also from you telling me about this to where, you know, you guys providing the drivers and everything, not only a lot, you have so many country artists here in Nashville mm -hmm. that will come and, and pick out, you know, their luxury coach that they want to do, but also you've got them all over the, the country. And so, I mean, you've got, you know, locations in California and other places to where you will send out these luxury coaches to them, right? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, the country guys, most of the country guys come in and out of Nashville. Right. Um, but the non-country, you know, non the rock, pop, hip-hop, uh, others, those tours can start all over the country. And so, you know, our teams will meet here. Um, the, most of the coaches are leaving from here. Um, but we'll go pick them up wherever the, tour, wherever the tour starts or wherever they want to be picked up before they head to the first tour. And what you're telling me, though, this is not like your typical Greyhound. I mean, this is a little nicer. It's a, li it's a little different. Yeah, yeah. There's we don't have as much seating in this one, <laughs> so you can't fit those fifty some odd passengers in right. this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. don't have like any metal things to hold on to. You've got, you know, this is little. You know, obviously they want nice because the artists live in these. Yes, yes. And, and so Jeremy's going to take us through these uh, these motor coaches, right? And show Absolutely. Us yeah. All the cool details. That's right. Yeah. Awesome. We've got Jeremy Mall, CEO of Dreamliner Luxury Coaches, and you're actually going to show us inside this incredible, uh, you know, home on wheels that Doja Cat and SZA just came out of, right, Jeremy? Yeah, so this is one of our popular buses. It's a pretty standard layout that we have in a star bus. Uh, Doja Cat did finish on this. We've had everybody from the weekend to SZA and a lot of other big artists actually that rode on this bus. So, I mean, do you have, I mean, special requests made by the artists when they when they get these kind of star buses you know with these coaches from dreamliner dreamliner not not like you would think i mean we basically we have a layout and they come to us because they like our layout it's kind of putting it into perspective it's like a hotel right. people choose a specific hotel based on their likes and designs and you know every hotel is different and people go stay where they like so we don't really have those type of requests. People ask us a lot, you know, do you get the, we want purple M&Ms. Th that's not us. That's their, that's their team that deals with that. Well, you know, and the key thing, like you and I were talking to before we came up in here to where it's like, these are luxury. I mean, you know, you've got a giant bed in the back. You've got multiple, you know, bunks at the side. You've got a lot of storage. I mean, this is like a home. You've got couches. You've got nice chairs. I mean, this is not, this is not roughing it. No, it's not. Um, I mean, these guys live on these things mm -hmm. for three to five months, and so we want to make them as comfortable as possible. When we go the extra mile from our linens, our bedding, you know, the scent machines, wow. you know, we, we, we try to think of a lot and make them try to feel at home. I think this is better than my home. <laughs> you know, I could actually, you know, if I could sneak on one of these, you know, and just go out on tour and just hang out for a while, and it's like maybe they just think like I was helping the driver. Well, send us your routing. <laughs> we'll put you on a tour. <laughs> Thanks, Jeremy. Let's take a look at this great setup on this uh, luxury liner. Full-size pantry, full-size fridge like you'd have in your home. Two bathrooms on board a star bus. So this is a half, half bath here. And there's bunk sections. So on some buses, there's bunks on both sides. I would say the majority are on both sides. This bus is set up to have a closet. So there's a full built-in closet. And then this is considered a condo bunk. So you can go from two to three bunks here. 
and it moves automatically. Let's just say somebody has a bigger crew, a nanny, assistant, you know, this will move up. You can see actually the bottom bunk that'll move up to here and make three. So there's just different configurations that you can have. It's the master, master shower, bath. And this is a king size bed and the slide goes in. There's a little bit of room to walk through here, but king size, more closet space. Obviously these people are on the road for three to five months. So they carry a lot of stuff with them. Jeremy, you've brought us into another uh, luxury coach here with uh, Dreamliner, and this is a country artist. So this one's a little bit different than the last one we checked out, right? Yeah, this was designed by one of our female country artists that's on long-term lease, and by the look of it, it's not as modern. It's very homey. Mm -hmm. um, it's I like it. It's beautiful inside. Well, you know, some of the things I noticed too, Jeremy, and certainly you guys designed these to accommodate the uh, the star artist. And, uh, you know, it's got like the hardwood floors. You've got a, a nice kitchen area. You've got four bunks in the back. Plus you have, you know, a, a full bathroom. Yeah, so the country artists, basically, they rent the bus for years at a time. Okay. So the other bus that we were in, you know, people will use for three to five months, right. where this bus is on lease for three years. So they move into them a lot more. They're, you know, a lot more homey. And so do they, do they bring the buses back to you guys here at Dreamliner then to go through them to get them ready for the next leg of the tour? Yes. So country music comes in and out every week okay. for the most part. So we typically see these buses Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then they leave and tour Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then so, they come back home to you eventually. And they come back home. So country music is the only genre of music that tours that way. So rock, pop, and hip hop, they stay out for, you know, the three to five month tour. Right. And this is very homey. I very. mean, when you come in here, it's like, you know, this feels like your house, you know, with the full kitchen and everything else here, the microwave, you got everything that you would need, you know, to, to live in this. Absolutely. Yeah, these are, like I said, the, the country music, Buses are typically a lot more homey than the other buses that, that we have. And this is the H model. This is an H. This is a Prevo H. But still a star model. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Rich, now we're in one of the executive uh, coaches that you have here. And I understand Chris Stapleton and maybe a few sports and everything else have actually utilized this coach, right? Yeah, so executives um, at some major TV networks. Um, they've used this for the Super Bowl. They've used it for the NBA All-Star Game. Um, it's gone to the Masters, and so it's done, it's done a lot of uh, big events. So you're saying this would be a perfect one for like the Rock and Review. If we were going to do something like, you know, take it out on tour, this, the executive one is the one we would need. Yeah, I love this. I come from the corporate world and finance world, and this is the exact type of bus that I would want to take my buddies on a golf trip or an excursion for, you know, for a day or a weekend or something like that. Well, yeah, I felt like I was walking into the Grand Ole Opry with the flooring and everything else, with the couches, the chairs. I mean, you got your kitchen over here. You've got everything. Yeah, I mean, you can have a full bar set up. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty full, some all-inclusive. So we're gonna have to take a look at some of these details here too, because this, this was a step up, even from the star buses. And like you said, people can do them for uh, excursions and everything, but it's, it's very comfortable and very nice. Yeah, yeah, we actually took it, um, the management team at Dreamliner took it to, uh, we went down to Atlanta to actually watch a Stapleton concert. Um, we had 12 of us in here. Um, and again, my kids, so maybe nine adults and my three <laughs> kids. Um, but yeah, it was, I mean, it's so comfortable. It's relaxing. You can kind of actually spend time with each other, get to know each other, talk, have drinks. And next thing you know, you show up and you're at the venue. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. Well, Rich, we appreciate you and Jeremy from Dreamliner Luxury Coaches taking us through these incredible coaches. You've got 19 of them out with Drake, right? Yeah, I think that's right. Yep. And you, and you have more of them going out, but also, you know, people that want to rent these too can do it. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, tour, during uh, during tour season, you know, middle of the year, second quarter, third quarter is a pretty busy time. So there's not a lot available. <laughs> but yeah, we um, you know, we we always try to you know we try to help anyone we can that's looking for a, looking for a bus or needs a bus, whether you're in the music industry or otherwise. I'll tell you what, we we really appreciate you and Jeremy taking us through these incredible luxury coaches. They just, I mean, wow. You guys do it all, and uh, it's so incredible. Now we know how artists really live when they're on the road. Yeah, they ain't roughing it. Not at all. <laughs> Thanks, Rich. Yeah, thank you, Rich. Sponsored by the Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of a Bobby Bones show.